Good afternoon, beekeepers and bee enthusiasts. How you doing? It's another great day at the farm. And we are here outside the Welcome Hive and we are seeing a lot of activity around here. Could be a swarm checking out the hive. We're not sure yet, but a lot of activity here. And of course, just a few days ago or so, or a week or so ago, we were actually baiting this hive to catch bees in. So already we have a lot of activity coming to this hive to check it out. Um, so there could be a colony be moving in soon. So of course the subject we're talking about today is dealing with colony loss. Now colony loss, um, this is something, if you become a beekeeper, you will deal with colony loss. Uh, you are gonna lose bees. That's the number one thing we're saying today is no matter what, you're gonna lose bees. Um, so you've gotta get out of this mindset where you get so depressed and so sad if you keep a, a colony or two and you lose Maybe one of your hives, maybe you lose all your hives, like it just depends. Um, but you shouldn't you shouldn't just look at that and say, I'm a failure, because it could be a lot of things that you could just change or just tweak just a little bit, and it could give you a lot of success with your beekeeping. So anyway, we'll break right into it. It's gonna be a good video. You know, we know you're gonna love it. Um, and yeah, let's just break right into it. Now, colony loss is something every beekeeper will deal with. Uh, no matter what, you're gonna have colony loss. When we first became beekeepers back in 2011 to 2017, um, we would, so many years, we would get like 10 hives and lose all 10 hives uh, throughout the year or during the winter. Um, and it just happened a lot. It was crazy. Um, you know, and it made us think, it made us think that we were failures and we just weren't good enough or, you know, we didn't, we didn't know what to think. Like we, we were pretty embarrassed by, you know, um, but yeah, it's like every year we were losing all our bees. And, you know, the way we look at it now is we've made huge changes. We said, okay, we were losing all of our bees every single year for like six years. What big changes can we make so that our bees can survive and actually thrive in our apiary? And of course, that's when we found uh, Dr. Leah Sharashian's website, horizontalhive.com. And then we also found Keeping Bees with a Smile by Federal Zutton and co-written by Dr. Leah Sharashian. And uh, yeah, it, it totally changed how we kept bees. And then all of a sudden, we started having what I call acceptable loss. So let me tell you what I mean by acceptable loss. If you have four colonies, and this I'm giving you an example of how we did in 2019. We had four colonies. Over the winter, we lost two. So then we had two colonies. So then we started 2020 with two colonies. Now in 2022, or 2020, we caught four more swarms. So that brought us up to six colonies. And then in two, over the winter for that year, we lost half of our colonies, so we got down to three. So now we started in 2021 with three colonies. And then we actually caught six colonies in 2021. And so we're, that put us at nine. And do you, do you see the pattern I'm, I'm getting at here? Every year, we've lost around 50%. But at the end of the day, we still have more bees every year. So I don't look at losing half of my bees and say, oh man, I'm a fire. I look at that and say, okay, well maybe that's just the course of nature. Okay, sorry, I had to back up a little bit from the colony. Um, or I, 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 it might be a colony, I don't know. But I got buzzed from them uh, probably half, a good distance down the driveway. Um, so it could be a colony, who knows? But anyway, what I was saying was every year, though we had, you could say a lot of loss, we always grew our apiary every single year and caught more and more bees. So, you know, just because you have a lot of loss, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing as long as you're growing your apiary. And then if you have more loss and you actually lost over, the year and you ended up with less bees than you originally had, then maybe you can look at it and say, okay, well, is there anything I could change as a beekeeper to maybe give me, there are lots of different styles of beekeeping. There are lots of different styles of beekeeping. Um, so many, you know, where there's basically no two beekeepers that are the same because there's so many different things you can do as a beekeeper. Um, but you, if you're having loss and it's you're losing more than you're gaining, or maybe you lost all your bees, look at it and say, well, is there anything I could change? Is there anything different I could do maybe to help my chances, you know? And I'm not gonna sit here and preach about natural beekeeping. We do that in so much of our 
videos so you, you get where we're coming from but you know if you look at some of those natural beekeeping central commandments um in the videos i'll put it in a playlist um those videos um can really help you out so one other thing i want to talk about um in regards to colony loss is what you have to understand is, is across the world in the wild and within beekeepers every year there's a lot of loss of honeybees and the reason why this is is because if they didn't have um something that would kind of keep them from you know populating too easily then we would be overpopulated by honeybees um there'd be honeybees everywhere and they would take out all the other pollinators and everything so um, there is a lot of loss across the world, even with bees in the wild, because that's just how it has to be. Otherwise, bees would become too numerous. So it's, it's kind of interesting to think about, but yeah. So, you know, of course we talk about acceptable loss or, you know, total loss. But one thing I kind of want to, I do have to say in this video is sometimes you do the right things and you're just going to lose a lot of colonies it just happens sometimes i've seen good beekeepers lose almost all their colonies before you know um, it happens like you can't look at it and just say well i had a bad year especially if you have a low number of hives like if you've got four or less hives you can't look at a total loss and be like i'm just not doing the right thing because you know Losing four colonies is definitely possible. Like, that's definitely possible, even if you do the right things, you know, all four of your colonies. Now, if you have, like, 50 to 100 colonies and you lose everything, then I would say there was something, something, something probably going on there. But I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how the kind of lost beekeepers of that magnitude have. We've never had more than 10 colonies at a time, but that was a long time ago. I mean, since we've been keeping natural, since we've been doing natural beekeeping, we've, nine is the total number of colonies we've had now we're starting this season with six um, but every swarm we catch and this could be number seven right here i'm not sure but every swarm we catch that's boosting our numbers um and then before you know it i mean we could go into the winter with 12 plus hives i mean it just it just depends so you know you got to look at it and say okay yes i might have had some loss over the winter but am i going into the next season with more bees or did i lose a lot of bees you know that's how you have to identify the differences and just remember if you've got a low number of colonies and you lose all your colonies that is definitely within the realm of possibilities and you can't look at that and say i'm a failure i don't know what i'm doing you know you have to look at it and say okay well is there anything i could have changed or maybe i'm pretty certain how i was doing was the way to go so maybe maybe you give it a few more years and try it out and then if you're still seeing total loss every single year year after year then that's when you can start looking at it because that's what we did we went from 2011 2017 on traditional styles and we lost bees every single year and i'm talking like 10 colonies at a time every year uh and we we looked at that and we said okay whatever we're doing we have got to drastically change because we know there's beekeepers out there that keep bees successfully so we've got to do something to drastically change what we're doing and we did that we accepted natural beekeeping and ever since we got into natural beekeeping it's just been a total new world um and how we keep bees and we love every bit of it and that's why we you know really teach it in our videos so hope you enjoy this video again don't beat yourself up if you get some colony loss it's gonna happen like it's, it happens to every beekeeper in the winter and the summer spring and fall like all those play all those times so don't look at it and beat yourself up but maybe if you keep having loss every year to like total loss then look at it and say okay what can i change you know and uh yeah you can have fun with it so we hope you enjoy this video and until next time we'll see you soon